by the time we got here, we had just enough time to get our animals, some clothes, our emergency kit, and get out. And you know, we couldn't get back out here until 8.30 that night. We had to watch from three miles away as, as our neighborhood burned. It was pretty awful. And we come back out here and they were fine letting people in. And it was already dark at the time and it just looked apocalyptic. I mean, I've been in combat and this looked just like it. It was pretty awful. But all of our neighbors were all safe except for one of our precious neighbors down the road. She, she didn't make it. It's just a, a, a terrible, terrible feeling. And, you know, we were fortunate enough to, you know, keep our place, but so many, so many others weren't. It's just, uh, it, it looked like a war zone when we first got here. It just everywhere you go, it's it's pretty much destruction, you know. And it has been really, really dry here lately, and I think that in combination with the, you know, the wind and stuff that we had leading up to, um, you know, the day before, just kind of a perfect storm, if you will.